So I'm going to talk a little bit this morning or this evening in a lot of countries um, about our journey in uh, the youth sports system uh, design. And, and as I said, the presentation is titled Balance is Better. I thought I'd split the presentation up into three key sections. First, just to give the viewers a little bit of context about New Zealand. Um, the second, to talk a little bit about our challenge, which is very similar to the, to the rest of the world, I think, in the youth sports space. And thirdly, talk a little bit about how we're going about addressing that challenge. So in terms of context, that's our beautiful little country there, um, three islands. We're, we're a country of uh, only about five million people, so surrounded by a, a lot of ocean there. We have a really proud sporting history in New Zealand, so um, we, like to, um, we like to say that sport is in our DNA. So we have a strong culture and history of sport at youth level, but equally for a small country, we perform really, really well on the world stage. In fact, we, we often talk about we punch way above our weight on the world stage. Despite our history, in, in our clear culture around sport and, and how it plays out in the lives of people. Um, there's, a, there's been a dark cloud bubbling away in our youth sports system for a wee while now. And um, the evidence is now showing us that, that a lot of youth are dropping out of sport and the offerings being provided by the system are not delivering to the needs of the youth participant. This next slide just talks to a, a little bit about that. Um, you'll see a, a couple of lines and, and at the point of about age 14, the age of participants is along the bottom starting at five to seven. As a country, we go really, really well in terms of participation rates till about the age of 14 or 15, where you can see both in terms of hours per week and the number of activities that participants are partaking in uh, take a, a very, very sharp decline, and that continues to drop off. And we now know that, um, as it's been talked about over the last few days, there are, there are a number of reasons for this drop off, but our evidence would point to that there are a number of factors that the system um, are, are not, is not delivering to based on the, the needs and the wants of young people. So how are we taking action? Well, what we've done as a, as a government agency is we've designed a, a philosophy or built a philosophy, which essentially is a framework for the system. And this framework is an evidence-based framework that essentially asks the system to place the needs of the participant at the very center of everything we do. And it looks to challenge some, um, I guess, some common assumptions around what we have seen playing out in the sports system. We call the philosophy Balance is Better. At the heart of Balance is Better are, are three key issues that have been identified over time, but based on research in New Zealand and abroad, and based on interviews with key people in the sector. And those three issues um, center around, to be fair, a lot of high performance um, behaviors coming down into the youth sports system. So um, first, the first issue or challenge that we're faced is based around um, the concept of childhood success. So being successful as, as a young athlete is a reliable uh, predictor of future success. Well, in actual fact, we know in a lot of situations that can be quite the reverse. The second is this concept of, um, and great to hear Joe talk about this, this, um, this behavior of identifying athletes early and asking them to specialize in, in one sport. It's taking a massive toll on our athletes, both from a well-being perspective, but particularly around um, injuries as well. And the third is around a, a clear focus on placing winning over um, development of young people. So Balance is Better is really about keeping um, all young people involved in sport for a lifetime. It's about improving the quality of experience for young people and helping them realize their potential in sport and in life. And it's, it's acknowledging that very few people will ever go on to high performance sport, but everyone that gets in sport can have a great experience if it's delivered 
um, based on the needs of why young people play. And again, this has been talked about over the last few days, but we know pretty clearly that there's some key concepts around having fun, and that varies for a lot of people, but experiencing challenge, um, this concept of developing and mastering skills, being part of a group, so the social connection. So these are all the keys that we're placing at the heart of Balance is Better. What are we doing uh, in the system? We're working uh, a lot more collaboratively with partners. So we're joining forces to ensure we're talking about uh, the same language, that we're aligned in our beliefs. We're doing a lot of work around promoting the key messages uh, through many channels, through social media, through, through a website that we've set up, um, through our partners strategies. We're looking to um, challenge some of the traditional competition formats that focuses on specialization and representative teams that pick a few over developing many. Um, we're looking to, to encourage and support athletes to take part in a range of activities. And clearly, um, which is what, why we're here over these two days, is we're looking to support coaches and, and improve their delivery of quality experiences. Uh, here's a quick little video uh, of one example of a, a partnership that Sport New Zealand uh, had with five of our large uh, national sports. And the messages here are really about um, too many young people are missing out. Andy, can I ask you quickly, did you uh, tick the box for optimizing video when you share the screen? Because we can't hear the sound. I wonder if you can stop the video for a second, stop sharing, and then click that, that tick box to make sure that, that, that we can hear the sound. So another concept that we've, um, we're about 80 months into this, uh, we've set up a standalone website, which is called Balance is Better. And at the heart of this, we've got resources. It's about connecting and sharing um, best practice stories across the sector. So we're addressing um, coaches, we're addressing parents, and we've got information to support system leaders in, in this website as well. Um, so I'd encourage our, our viewers, I'll, I'll share the link. Um, we've got some amazing stories, both from New Zealand and across the country on that website as well. Um, and finally, and, and I guess probably the closest point, um, it's pretty dear to my heart, is the role that coaches play in this. We, we know that coaches are an absolute critical enabler, enabler to quality sporting experiences. So we're doing a lot of work to support our community coaches who um, majority of them are volunteers. So we're helping to support coaches by asking them to become an informed leader. So, so understand what Balance is Better is about and, and how they can share that in their community. Become a local influencer. So stand up for and, and challenge inappropriate um, uh, behaviors at community level. Become a servant coach. So put the needs of young people ahead of themselves. So, so be humble and place the needs of, of young people ahead of, I guess, their own coaching egos. Um, understand that in this business, we're coaching people first. Um, and that sport can deliver so many quality experiences and life skills if delivered in the right way. Um, fun and safe being talked about a lot. So ensure it's fun, connect with people and provide a safe environment that young people will want to come back and enjoy time after time. Keep the big picture in mind. So we know that only a few people may ever go on to represent their country or, or compete on an international stage. But again, everyone has the opportunity to, to experience a quality sporting environment 
um, that encourages them to come back and fall in love with sport. So that's a real big um, concept for us, keeping the pitch, big picture in mind. And finally, um, again, a lot of research in this space, but engaging positively with parents is a huge piece for us in that we want to bring parents on the journey. We want them to be well informed. We want them to, to be engaged and support coaches at community level. What are we looking to achieve in the, in the long run? Um, our long-term objective is to ensure that everyone in the country has an opportunity to, to get involved and positively experience sport and the potential it has to not only improve them in their sporting endeavors, but equally improve them in their, uh, in, in their life and, and work environment as they go on. So that's, that's our little story, Serge.